as the first phase of the 2024 Lok Sabha elections concluded on April 19th. Tamil Nadu had an overall voter turnout of 69.46%. As usual, in Chennai, only a little more than half of the electorate decided to turn up at the polling booths on election day. Bangalore went to polls on 26th April for the 2024 Lok Sabha elections. But this year too, the city recorded a low voter turnout. Taking into consideration the four parliamentary constituencies, that is Bangalore North, Bangalore South, Bangalore Central, and Bangalore Rural, the voter turnout was 57.43%. This means that nearly half of the city did not vote. Why was this? Is it only urban apathy? The reasons may be much more complex. One of the most important reasons is that the voter rolls was not properly updated. Many citizens complained about deletions and duplications. There were even some instances of the names of deceased voters and those who have relocated still appearing in the list. Many voters who have lived and voted in the same constituency for decades and had valid voter ID cards found their names missing from the list. After the residents who had been relocated to housing, their names were tenements. still registered in polling stations near their old places of residence, despite multiple applications to the ECI to change it. Some traveled long distances to vote, while others chose not to. Also, the scorching heat and the heat wave in the city acted as a deterrent. Many people were not willing to stand in long queues with no shade in the sun to vote. Voter apathy that has been uh, you know, cited for low voter turnout also played a role here because many people thought that it is a long weekend and therefore they can take off and go for vacation instead of vacation. So what's the solution? Experts say the ECI needs to streamline and simplify all its processes, especially deletions and additions to roles. Just creating vote awareness is not enough. Field visits are necessary to ensure every voter is included in the electoral rolls. Voters also have to become more proactive in checking their names and reporting discrepancies. And more importantly, to show up on election day. It is hoped that with the proper updation of voter rolls, as well as people becoming more aware about their rights and duties as voters, we can expect a better voter turnout in subsequent elections.